Our next speaker is Mr. Bob Parks, the member of the National Advisory Council Project 21, Video Producer Media Research Center. Thank you and good morning. Uh, first off, because I am a video producer, does anybody back there need to change tape? <laughs> no? Everybody okay? Okay. Um, could we all rise, please? No, I'm just joking. Hey, <laughs> I just wanted to see how easy it was to punk the media. Maybe I should run for president. Um, last weekend, I and a bunch of other um, Project 21 people were um, scheduled to be on the Earl of Fari Hutchinson's show out of Los Angeles. And uh, for some reason, when it came time for us to speak, we didn't get the phone call from the station. So um, I went online and I started listening. And uh, the, the discussion was the same as the discussion that I participated in about three weeks ago. And it was just, it was just like a flashback where I heard Earl saying, Bob, will you denounce Tea Party racism, Bob? And it's just so easy nowadays to throw the word racism at an entire group of people you don't know. And let's, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Let's say right across 14th Street was the world headquarters of the Ku Klux Klan. I'll tell you right now, I probably wouldn't go in there. But you have people like Howard Dean, who for example said Fox News is racist. Now, he went into the station and when he went in, he got checked in by the security guard who probably didn't think it was racist. And the security guard called someone to take him up to the green room. And then he met the people who did the makeup to make him all pretty. And that person probably wasn't racist. And the people that was interviewing him probably wasn't racist. But he just assumed or said publicly that the Tea Party and Fox News is racist. And if, again, I find it very disturbing that we can call a whole group of people racist. But at the same time, if you come to like my website and other black conservative websites, you'll see all this racist language usually coming from the left and nothing is ever said about this. I will close by sharing with you a little story. Uh, my father was a, a professor at Suffolk University in Boston. And in the late 70s, he got uh, he and this uh, a roommate who was white, another professor from the college, um, bought a townhome together in Boston. They lived with, you know, they shared that townhouse for over 30 years. And um, I would call my father when I was living in LA and he was in Boston. I'd, we'd have these long distance conversations and I would, uh, we'd talk and he would tell me about how this woman cut in front of him in the line at Star Market and now this white man looked at him funny at the post office. And this would happen like every other conversation. And so one time he brought it up about a couple years before he died. And he said to me that same thing. And I turned to him and I thought about it and finally just said, so in other words, what you're saying, Dad, is all white people are racist, except the ones you know. There was a pause on the phone. Because, you know, back in the day, we couldn't, like, talk back to our parents. And I figured, OK, I went, I crossed the line. And then after a few seconds, he started laughing. He got it. So this whole thing about calling people you don't know racism or racist, well, I think with the Tea Party, we are going to hear the N-word a lot in the next few weeks and months up to the election. That N-word is November. <laughs> and I very much look forward to hearing it. Thank you very much. <laughs> 